Have you gotten on the apple cider vinegar bandwagon? No, because it doesn't taste very good. I know, I get it. But don't worry, there are supplements available that you can take that are so much easier than drinking apple cider vinegar. But are they gonna do you any good? Stay tuned. Hey there, this is Neely with Neely on Nutrition, providing you with unbiased, relevant health and nutrition information so you can make an educated decision. Vinegar has been around for thousands and thousands of years. It's nothing new, except like in the last decade or so, apple cider vinegar in particular has just skyrocketed in its popularity. But it doesn't taste very good. So there are supplements on the market now, and specifically I'm going to be talking about one, um, the apple cider vinegar gummy by Goli. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. And because it's a whole lot easier to take than drinking apple cider vinegar. Before I move on, I need to make note though that with this particular gummy and looking at the science, all of the research that was provided, all the claims were made not on this gummy, but on apple cider vinegar. And that's really important and we can't um, extrapolate that because something happens here, it is going to happen in this particular supplement. So just want to make note of that. I get why people have asked me so much about the Goalie apple cider vinegar gummy. Um, what you see on social media, it helps digestion and improve gut health and helps with weight management, and appetite control, boosts the immune system, boosts energy, it's packed with superfoods and B vitamins. Yeah. But also that information is on their website. Here's the supplement fact panel. And this is what I wanna um, look into specifically. It says it has 500 milligrams of apple cider vinegar, which is 5% acetic acid. It has um, beetroot and pomegranate in 40 micrograms. It has half of the daily value of um, B9, which is folic acid, and um, half of the daily value of B12. On the supplement label, it also tells me what other ingredients are in there, um, and it tells me what's not in there. And it's great that they don't have, you know, weed and milk and eggs and all the other um, allergens. Uh, but what I really want to know is what is in there? What's going to do me any good? And it's going to be worth the $19 that I'm going to spend for 60 of these. And it's not just one a day. It's one to two, three times a day. I want to take a look here at this 500 milligrams of apple cider vinegar, 5% acetic acid. Acetic acid is like basically what vinegar is. Now, I want to hop over to one of my favorite websites, consumerlab.com. I pay um, a yearly subscription fee, which is well worth um, my investment. It's not that much, but look at this um, acetic acid that's found in apple cider vinegar products and it's this um, acidity. In a tablespoon of most of these vinegars here, they average about 750 milligrams of acetic acid. When we look at the supplements, not just Goli, but all these supplements here, but look at Goli in particular. They um, actually, when they measured the quantity of um, acetic acid, it had not 5%, but it only had 4%. So if we do the math on that, that's 20, just oh, you know, a hair over 20 milligrams of acetic acid. So you're gonna have to take basically more than 36 gummy supplements for the equivalent of a tablespoon of vinegar. And then if we look at the cost associated with that, so to get the 750 milligrams, uh, that is ideal. A tablespoon of vinegar will give it to us there for pennies. But looking at these supplements, uh, for Goli, for example, it's gonna be um, almost $12 a day to get that 750 milligrams. So in other words, it has teeny tiny quantity of what we need to have any value. That's just one example too. When we look at the ingredients um, in Goli, beetroots, apples, pomegranates, and I love to, to read what is said about these. Like beet, beetroots are a popular superfood for all the fiber, vitamins, and minerals they contain. I don't particularly like beets that much, but it's a, it's a nutrition powerhouse, just like pomegranates are. They're what are like the superfoods that um, we're talking about. By the way, I'm not a fan of superfoods. I believe in super diets. 
Um, and I think that all foods can help you have a super diet. Anyway, so this super fruit pomegranate, it's got a heck of a lot going for it. Pomegranates are a delicious source of important nutrients. It is, I love pomegranates, but look how much quantity is in this particular supplement. 40 micrograms, 40. That is nothing, tiny, tiny amount. When I look at the research that was done on um, the value of pomegranate, for example, we're looking at 750 milligrams a day. That's 750,000 micrograms. So in other words, the quantity that is in this particular su supplement, even if you took up to six of them a day, is gonna do you no good. But the Goldie supplement is not alone in this situation. I see that in a lot of supplements. That's one of my frustrations with supplements is they have this teeny tiny bit of them, although it makes it look like it's got all this stuff in there that's gonna do you a world of good, when basically it's just like pixie dust. Worthless. I also found this really interesting, looking at the um, improving the energy. It says that amino acids and apple cider vinegar, as well as potassium and enzymes may help relieve fatigue. Okay, let me just say that there is no protein in apple cider vinegar. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein, and there definitely is no protein in this particular supplement. Just saying. It does talk about B12, and B12 is one of the many B vitamins that help the body make energy, but in and of themselves, it doesn't give us energy. It also talks about how we're you know, deficient in um, B12. And you know what? We're not. Unless you're a vegan or and get no animal products because B12 is only found in animal products, or if you're an older adult because we lose the ability to absorb B12, um, or if you've had like gastric bypass surgery. Otherwise, B12 deficiency, it's not a problem. Goley claims that um, this information about gut health and digestion um, and also the immune system is due to the pectin in apple cider vinegar. Well, um, I contacted the company to find out well, how much pectin is in their little gummy. And um, they said they didn't have that information. So I'm gonna guess that it's probably pretty weeny amount and it's probably not gonna do you any good. So pectin is actually um, a soluble type of a fiber that um, is considered a prebiotic, which helps the gut. So it's a whole lot easier to get that from wholesome fruits and vegetables and other plant-based foods. You don't need it in supplement form. So there you have it, my review of the dietary supplement, apple cider vinegar, gummy goli. It may taste great. If this supplement cost a dollar for like 60 of them, I'd say, ah, go for it. But is it really gonna help you? Now, if you think it's gonna help you, the placebo effect is very powerful. If you wanna spend the money, go ahead. I don't have an example of it because I didn't wanna spend $19 on a bottle of 60 gummies. So there you have it. If you like this information, give me a little, little thumbs up. Let the algorithm know so other people can see this information. Regardless what your favorite influencer says about this particular supplement, as I said, I wanna provide you the honest, unbiased health and nutrition information so you can make an educated decision. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Um, for 12 weeks.